morning when it was Tuesday, the twelfth week, we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with the Spirit. As we hear the scriptures today, the famous line, do unto others, as you would have them do unto you. So as we begin, let's reflect for a moment about how we treat others, and we expect God to feed us in just the same way. We're sent to heal the contrived heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. We are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us for the sin we have committed. Bring each one of us home to everlasting life. Yeah. Let us pray. O God, and teach us that what you abide in the hearts that are just and true. Grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Yeah. reading from the book of Genesis. Abram was married with rich in livestock, silver, and gold. Lot, who lived with Abram, also had flocks and herds and tents, so that the land would not support them if they stayed together. Their possessions were so great that they could not dwell together. There were quarrels between the herdsmen of Abram's livestock and those of Lot's. At this time, the Canaanites and the Perizzites were occupying the land. So Abram said to Lot, Let there be no strife between you and me, or between your herdsmen and mine, for we are kinsmen. Not the whole land at your disposal. Please separate from me. If you prefer the left, I will go to the right. If you prefer the right, I will go to the left. Lot looked about and saw how well watered the whole Jordan plain was as far as Zor, like the Lord's own garden, or like Egypt. This was before the Lord had destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot therefore chose for himself the whole Jordan plain and set out eastward. Thus they separated from each other. Abram stayed in the land of Canaan, while Lot settled among the cities of the plain, pitching his tents near Sodom. Now the inhabitants of Sodom were very wicked in the sins they committed against the Lord. After Lot had left, the Lord said to Abram, Look about you, and from where you are, east to the north and south, east and west, all the land that you see I will give to you and your descendants forever. I will make your descendants like the dust of the earth. If anyone can count the dust of the earth, your descendants too might be counted. Set forth and walk about in the land through its length and breadth, for to you I will give it. Abram moved his tents and went on to settle near the Tebrid of Mamre, which is at Hebron. There he built an altar to the Lord, the word of the Lord. Thanks He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. Who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Who lends not his money and usury, and accepts no bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be disturbed. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not give what is holy to dogs, or throw your pearls before swine, lest they trample them underfoot, and turn and tear you into pieces. Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction and those who enter through it are many. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life, and those who find it are few. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So in today's Gospel passage, Jesus is talking about, you know, do unto others as you would have them do to you. You know, if you go back, we read that Jesus taught us the first two commandments are Love your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. The second is like it. Do unto others as you would have them do to you. Love them. So I think that, along with that image of the narrow gate, you know, when I was thinking about this passage, as I was trying to back out my car out of the garage, it's kind of a tight fit. When it's a tight fit, you have to pay real good attention to it, lest you're going to take the mirror off your car, backing out of the garage, and those kind of things. And I think that's the image that Jesus is trying to give us this morning is that narrow gate, 
that tight fit. You gotta pay attention. That's what he's telling us. Pay attention to what's going on in your life. Pay attention to others. It's not just all about you. It's all those little things that we're kind to others, that we love others, that we forgive others. That narrow gate that we're paying attention. That narrow gate, where does it lead to? It leads to heaven. Not everyone is gonna go because of what Jesus said. The few, the ones that pay attention, the ones that do what who is willing to do, the ones that love their neighbor and love God. It's that image of that narrow gate to pay attention to what's going on. You know, life doesn't always treat us very well. We have things to overcome. That's that narrow gate, those things that we have to do. So think about that image of the narrow gate and think about others this morning. God bless and stay safe, my brothers and sisters. For our church, may it always be a community of love, mercy, and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who are lost or struggling in life, may their lives be transformed by Almighty God. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are suffering from any sicknesses, whether physical or mental, may God comfort and heal them. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of our families, may they be free from anxiety, and may God take care of them. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, and they come to share in the resurrection of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we ask you to hear our prayer. Continue to bless us our faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have spread to give you which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, God, forever. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we this wine to give you fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. Friends, let's pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of God's holy church. Accept the Lord the offerings by which, from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, that these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness with you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right. Father, you have no need of our praise, but our desire to thank you is itself your gift. Our prayer of thanksgiving adds nothing to your greatness, but helps us to grow in your grace through Jesus, your Son. So once again, we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by, sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop. We remember Gus Scrupunas and Marguerite McMorrin, whom you have called for this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like His may also be one with Him in His resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face 
Have mercy on us all, we pray that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may be married to be co-heirs to eternal life, may we praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We now pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who fall to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul. Graciously be present to us, O Lord, and lead us with the heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to a newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. May God's blessing truly guide us in all that we do, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you.